In this video, I will share with you seven work from home jobs. All of these jobs are remote and can pay upwards of $40 an hour. In fact, some of these jobs that I will mention in this video are from large companies, so you can rest assured that these are legitimate occupations. What's up winners, my name is Nam. If you're new here, welcome. Here we talk all things personal finance, starting out by subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. Gas prices are soaring in the United States right now. And that means working from home could potentially save you hundreds of dollars in tons of time. The increase in gas prices and the oncoming summer heat is gonna make people a little angry. How long will it be for your highway experience mimics Mad Max? How much would it be worth it to you to never sit in traffic, burning your gas and cash, go into a job that you hate? Wouldn't it be better just to sit at home and do a job that you hate? You might find out that it's the commute that you hate and not the job. As the country continues to lurch back to the office, there's an ongoing battle between employers who want to go back in the offices and workers who want to work from home. Many people are leaving the previous jobs because they find that working from home is a much better option. No one wants to spend their life dying slowly under the harsh glow of fluorescent lights listening to Bill Lumberg asking for the morning's TPS report. This list of jobs make it so you can work from home at your own pace on your own schedule. Let's assume that for all of these jobs, you need to have basic tools to work from home. As a whole, these jobs do require to have the following, a cell phone, reliable internet connection, a reliable computer, a quiet workspace, and a glowing desk position. That last one is a lie. You just need to be able to communicate with your employer but a glowing disposition might make it easier for you to schmooze your way into a job. Make sure you watch to the end of this video so you know all of the opportunities available to you. Let's jump right now to our first job, which is the Jensen Agency. The Jensen Agency, they specialize in life insurance solutions. Their products include mortgage protection, term, whole life, and annuities. The company acts as a licensed agent for the Symmetry Financial Group. The Jensen Agency stresses that prior experience is not necessary to be successful there. You do gotta have some skills to pay the bills though. This includes being self-motivated, disciplined, coachable, communicative, reliable, and integrity. The really cool thing about these skills is that they are soft skills and require no specialized school or education. From what I could find on Indeed, the company looks like a legitimate nice place to work. You don't gotta worry about cold calls because the clients are coming to you. Now, here's the most important part. The pay appears to be around $20 an hour for an entry-level sales and administrative assistant positions. All right, so let's keep it moving with job number two, which is Smart Biz. Smart Biz is the leading AI-powered small business financing platform equipping entrepreneurs with access to the right capital at the right time. They lend to minorities, women, and veterans as a key pillar of their business. Smart Biz wants workers who can function as a part of their team. That's good news for you because your list of qualifications are not that stringent. To work for Smart Biz, you need to have customer service and or sales experience, verbal and brand communication skills, work well solo and within a team, organization skills, professionalism, and organization. There's no advanced education requirement, nor is there anything that suggests that you need to be a pro finance specialist. All you need is to be able to work and talk to clients who need loans. I was impressed when I looked up their salary for entry-level employees. Smart Biz, they throw a decent amount of bread your way, so I could imagine that this is a competitive employer. Glassdoor, they say that starting employees make anywhere between fifty-two dollars to $59,000 per year. Before I move on to job number three, I would like to thank today's sponsor, FlexJobs. Since this video is about work from home jobs, they're the number one job site to find vetted remote, work from home, and flexible job opportunities since 2007. Some of the companies on their roster includes Apple, Xerox, and Capital One. If any of the jobs in today's list don't tickle your fancy, go check out Flex Jobs, link in the description. Now let's bounce back to another insurance company for job number three, American Income Life. The company hit it huge in 2021 with 20% growth and a windfall of $63 million in profit. That means that they are growing and ready to take on new employees so they can grow some more. Their business model is to help unions manage their benefits. So you will be indirectly helping teachers, firefighters, police officers, and military veterans. One thing to know is that they don't care about your experience, they just want you to have a good work ethic and just to show up. The reason why they don't really care about your experience is that they have a two week training program that all their employees must go through. In big bold letters, they ensure that you know that this job is 100% work from home. So they know their audience. To work for American Life, you need to have customer service, communication, and organization skills, and to be professional. American Income Life claims that you can make anywhere between $55,000 to $75,000 annually and weekly bonuses. If you hustle and grind, this could be a lucrative job for you. Now let's keep it moving with job number four, which is Quinn Street. What kind of job list would this be without at least one inbound sales job? Come on, you know that they're out there and the pay is pretty good for their ass. 
To be fair, this job would be hell for anyone who doesn't like to talk to people. The good news is that this job has a regimented schedule from Monday to Friday, so you won't be casting straight assignments like on 11.49 p.m. on a Saturday. Some additional perks include insurance, and they actually provide you with the equipment and tech to do your work. This company wants you to have a diploma or a GED at a minimum. Some prior experience is nice, but not required, and you gotta be able to communicate well. Some skills that you need to work for this company includes customer service, communication, organization, and also professionalism. But here's the kicker. You can make about $80,000 per year, but the caveat is that this is commission dependent. If you can chew the fat and believe the ABCs, which is always be closing, then this job can make you a whole lot of money. Now let's take a look at a familiar name for job number five, Pinkerton. Pinkerton traces its roots back to 1850 when Alan Pinkerton founded Pinkerton National Detective Agency. Today, this company offers a range of corporate risk management services from security consulting and investigations. Instead of union busting and nabbing trained robbers, Pinkerton provides security and consulting to companies worldwide. So to work for this company, you need to have great communication and organization skills. They're pretty flexible with their experience preferences, so it is good to remember to point out that preferences are not requirements. So for this job, you can expect to make anywhere between $39,000 to $42,000 a year. Now let's check out job number six, which is Discover. This company is a credit card company and they're looking for remote workers. Right away, you should know that this job does come with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Also, this job is a little bit geographically locked. People can only work remotely if they live in Ohio, Utah, Arizona, Delaware, or Illinois. Another thing about this job is that they do pay you about $250 to set up your home office. Then they also pay out bonuses for staying with the company. You just need to have a high school diploma and some skills. To work for Discover, you need to be great at customer service, communication, and organization. This is shift work with starting wage around $14.75 per hour. That's a tad low, but the company does not require you to have any specialized education or schooling. The next job is kind of a bit of a surprise, but it's a neat opportunity nonetheless. Let's check out job number seven, which is Department of Homeland Security. So this organization actually have a position for a mail and file clerk. The Department of Homeland Security is responsible for protecting the nations from domestic and foreign threats. You will be responsible for checking their mail. It is a way to get a foot in the door for a steady and reliable federal job with federal job benefits. There are some hard and fast rules that the DHS requires. You gotta be a US citizen, you gotta do a background test, pass a drug test, and also sign up for selective service. The cool thing about this job is that you can qualify for different types of salaries based on your experience and education. To start, you might be paid a GS04 rate, which is around $27,000 per year if you have a high school diploma and one year of experience doing anything clerical. It doesn't seem that much, but the benefits are pretty good. They include a 401k, medical, vision, dental, and tuition assistance. Bearing anything unexpected happening, you will progress through the GS ranks pretty predictably. Remember, all of these jobs are entirely remote and require very little and in some cases, no experience whatsoever. To secure your freedom from that rat race, you should take a chance on yourself and apply. With any of these options, you can work remotely and never have to drive to work. With these gas prices, you're gonna be saving tons of money. Now, I wanna turn it over to you. Which jobs from today's video are you gonna try first? Are you gonna try working for Discover or the Department of Homeland Security? Let me know in the comments. If you wanna know more about work from home jobs, come check out these videos over here.